You feel like Michael Corleone every time you think you're out, you get back into uh, <laughs> <laughs> the flash. The deja vu all over again. Yeah. How but is the, it? the thing is that, that it's enough different. Yeah. Now, I, for the first time, will be next week on set with Barry as Flash. Mm -hmm. And when I was reading that, that felt, if it's going to happen, if there's going to be a sense of displacement, it's going to happen then. But it remains to be seen. You know, the story is so different. The character is, is so much darker. I can't imagine Emmett Walsh killing Priscilla Pointer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And ending up in prison. I can't imagine Emmett Walsh, Walsh my, my dad killed my mom. What? So, the character is so dark. And, and when I heard that that's the way they were going with it, that's the part I wanted, not Jake Garrick. The mentor role, okay, here, this is how you do it, son. You know, that, that would not be interesting to me. But to play, that blows my head open. You know, to be accused of killing your wife in front of your son and even your best friend and neighbor, Joe West, is convinced you're guilty. And you have to live with that for 14 years in the hell on earth prison that is Iron Heights. I was like, that's the role I want. And that's the role they offered me, so. It's being pulled back in in the most wonderful way. You know. Besides, they, a gentleman over here asked such an interesting question. He said, how does it feel, arguably, he said, first flash ended too soon. How does it feel now? Young guy over here was very kind. 15 years later, I said, 15? <laughs> 24? We're talking quarter of a century here. You rarely get the chance to go back and have a chance for healing to take place around a wound and arguably when you pull your you know, not to get maudlin but when you put your heart and soul and you know everybody around you is working so hard and it doesn't get renewed it doesn't you don't quite have although it's had a life for one season show it's had an incredible life um you know it, you know it does it does hurt it does hurt a little bit so it's great to i mean how often do you get to come back and uh you know i put it in in terms of once a preacher's son, always a preacher's son. You know, healing take place, you know, uh, around something like that. So it's an extraordinary opportunity. And Andrew was in this, Kreisberg was an assistant on the back lot at Warner Brothers and was a fan of the show. Greg was a fan of the show. Jeff Johns has our original uh, post, you know, the original poster, you know, <laughs> in the 7-Eleven campaign in his office. So they, and they all know what happened and they all know why it happened. And there's a sense of, them just wrapping me up and bringing me into this new uh, incarnation. That feels really wonderful. What's it like for you as someone who was on a superhero show in a different, you know, time, now seeing this huge resurgence and this huge explosion of all these movies and TV shows popping up? Um, is that, is it strange for you to say like, oh, well, we were doing it first? Yeah, or, we did that in know? 1990. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, the thing that I'm, uh, I'm also happy for, that show, because, you know, you couldn't do a lot in CGI then. Now they can do so much more in post-production. And, uh, and that makes it a lot easier when you're not trying to do all practical effects. Um, it's amazing to see how the sensibility around this character has evolved. And it is evolved. It's it is a smarter sensibility about it in the fact that we're no longer in the Mark Bar and Jose Canseco pumping iron post-steroid hangover era. So we can actually address the fact that the Flash is about speed and needs to be aerodynamic. And Grant's perfect for that, you know. Um, so it's interesting to see how the sensibility around that character has evolved. And I'm just wondering, you know, because we'll see, because they're saturating the market now, aren't they? But then they always do that. Yeah. You know, you're too young to remember, but once upon a time, it was all Westerns. You know, and then it was all CSI shows, and then it was all Law and Order, and then it was, and now it's all superheroes. And you know, one of these will stand out. And our show, the thing that I will be interested in finding out is our show is going to be, although, Bless Jeff John's heart, he's given it a dark edge just with the whole family story. But it's going to be the most lighthearted. You know, the thing about Grant that impresses me so much is that he... Look at her. I mean, look at her. How could we not be a success? <laughs> um, is, uh, the impresses me is that, you know, when I first found out how to play his father, I looked at Arrow because I wanted to see how he worked. 
you know, and I was relieved to see that he's really sincere. There's no acting. I don't know what he was pulling on when he was talking about his dad, but it was simple, it was honest, it had energy, and it wasn't acting. And that's the most important thing, you know, the acting book, no acting, please, you know. It's, it was very real. And then we did the scene in the prison together. And I thought, this kid has chops. And uh, Jesse said it best. He said, this show is going to work if it works for one reason. It's because that guy's head and his heart are in alignment and they're in the right place. I, I couldn't be happier. So will we, um, you know, because you've been in prison, um, the character obviously has yeah. been in prison for a number of years. 14, 14 years. I mean, uh, great. So, I mean, The Flash is now like a grown man almost, right? So the question is, will we see a little bit more of uh, Henry's... Um, what the prison has done to Henry? Um, I, I, that's up to me, really. If you don't, that's my bad. That's my failure. Um, I, uh, I certainly, one thing I said to them is I don't want to come in and play Dawson's dad 10 years later. You know? Okay, now I'm being kind. 13 years later. <laughs> that's the 15 years he was talking about. Um, and so I said I wanted to grow out my hair. My hair is is not at quite at the point where it was the pilot, and the beard will be by the time I shoot again. So I have to balance present day and flashback. So I wanted, we wanted to see, like for the pilot, we shot all the present day scenes first. They shaved me, gave me a haircut, and then we did the flashbacks. The next episode, I have uh, my first interrogation tape, which is minutes after I've been arrested, and I have present day stuff with. Joe, who has been convinced that I'm guilty, my neighbor's huge sense of betrayal coming, you know, and then I have scenes with Barry, and Barry is the Flash. So, balancing all of that, I think in the pilot, when you see Henry present day, he's completely defeated. It's over. In my mind, I'm letting Barry go. I'm releasing him from what maybe I've even participated in to give him a sense, a reason to live which is who really did it, you know? I mean, his mom's dead, his dad's in prison. Yeah, go, go chasing after these paranormal events. You know, I probably even encouraged it. But now, you know, you're 20, you, you know, you're not 10 anymore, you're 24, so you gotta let it go. It's never gonna be solved. And then what I'm moving in now in the scripts is, what's going on with you, you know? And we walk that ambiguous line after our first time I'm confronted with the flash. Does Henry know, does he? And that changes my motivation. I get out of the maudlin, you know, changes my whole motivation. It, Meisner would be very proud. <laughs> it takes all of the attention off of me and puts it on him. So even when I'm telling a story, what I'm really doing is looking for any sign of you know, anything that he might give away about what's up with him. Is he, is he, is he, you know, waiting for him to tell me if indeed he is, if indeed I even suspect it. So playing an ambiguity specifically, I don't know, we'll see how it works out. You'll tell me. <laughs> you have a good perspective on this, having played with this. What is the appeal of this character? I mean, as a kid, I would look at the Flash as, he ran fast. That's what the Flash did. And there wasn't a lot to him. In, in your mind, though, having been there and now on this show, what is the appeal of the Flash? You've hit upon the very reason. We've had a hard time getting another... In it's been 24 years, and we lasted one season. What is the problem with the Flash being made into a movie? How many times did we hear it's going to be a movie? It's not. It's going to be a series. It's not. Well, now, finally, it is. And I think one... I personally suspect the gold ears have something to do with it, but, but no. Uh, <laughs> but in a sense, metaphorically, it is he is a lighter character. He's kind of, you know, the geek, the kind of, you know, science guy that trips over his own self. And, you know, and we're all into Constantine and Walking Dead, and we have to have a hatchet in someone's head every other minute. <laughs> and so I think what Jeff, Jeff has done brilliantly to address that, and I get to be a part of it, is give the dark family story. So that gives us its darkness and that frees us up to, and they do a better job than, than, than we did in presenting Barry as, I mean, Grant's got a great sense of comedy, you know, kind of running into himself, stumbling over his own feet, you know. What I loved was being the unblessed son, obviously my older brother was my father's favorite, who got these kick-ass powers and then couldn't tell his dad. 
You know, what he's got is he's stumbling over his feet. Everybody in the crime lab, you know, they sort of Alan, you know, they dismiss him, and he could kick all of their asses, if, you know, but he couldn't let them know. He's, you know what I mean? So, um, I don't know if that answered your question, but. Is it in every man's body? It is, it is, it is. And we'll see if that's enough. We're going to be, you know, we're going to have a lot of, as we said, there's so many superhero shows now, and one or two are going to stand out. And we'll see if the darker quality is the way they go, or we're going to be the ride at the amusement park. You know, we're going to be the fireworks on 4th of July. We're going to be, he's endearing, he's got a great quality, and, uh, and we'll see which one the audience fights on. You know.